If you've been following the Sociology Podcast since I launched it in 2021, you will be aware of the Reverse Psychology subseries, which is basically unpopular Chicago opinions from Chicago. You will also be aware of the SAT, the Sociology Awareness Test, where I quiz random Chicagoans about different questions in regards to Chicago history and culture. Well, this Black History Month, I'm introducing the Chicago Goats subseries. This is basically a black Chicago history blitz that details and gives brief summaries of different black Chicagoans that lived in our city and did great things in their respective careers and left a huge impact not only the city but on the entire world. So without further ado, let's get into it. From Harold Washington to Harold's Chicken and everything in between and beyond, this is Sociology. In elementary school, I went to try out for the band and I was hopeful I would be assigned to drums or the saxophone. Unfortunately, I was assigned neither. They gave me the clarinet and I never went back. I wasn't too happy about that, but it's a good thing I didn't go back because I don't have a musical bone in my body. I can't write music. I can't play an instrument and I certainly can't sing. So it's a good thing I didn't go back. But even though music isn't my ministry, music is certainly the ministry for a lot of other people. This episode is about the music teacher, the Reverend Dr. Lena McGlynn. Lena McGlynn was born September 5th, 1928 in Atlanta, Georgia. And when she was just five years old, she was sent to Chicago to live with her uncle, a Chicago goat that you should be familiar with by now, Thomas A. Dorsey. So, yes, she was raised in Pilgrim Baptist Church, and it was there where she learned how to write music and become a musician. She was exposed to gospel music at that church. She would go on to get her bachelor's degree in music, specializing in the piano and the violin from Spelman College. And she got her graduate degree in music from the American Conservatory of Music. In 1955, she began teaching at the Chicago Public School System, teaching music to students. She taught at Hubbard High School, Harlan High School, but it was at Kenwood High School where she had her longest tenure and made her biggest impact. She would become known as, quote, the woman who launched a thousand careers, end quote, by the Chicago Tribune. She taught music to many individuals, Shaka Khan, DeBrat, Mark Rucker, Robert Sims, Jennifer Hudson, and R. Kelly. While also teaching music to students, she also started her own opera company in the mid-50s. In 1983, she had her own opera, O Freedom, which was played at Carnegie Hall. Lena McGlynn composed a wide range of music, including rock operas, and she merged the European classical traditions with the traditional African-American music. From large to small, she made magic when it came to music. She would retire from teaching music to high school students in the mid-1990s, but she continued to teach in the private sector, and she lectured at the Peabody Institute routinely. In 1981, the Reverend Dr. Lena McGlynn founded the Holy Vessel Baptist Church in Hyde Park, where she became an ordained minister and the head pastor while also serving as the minister of music. She was busy. She was awarded honorary degrees by Virginia Union University and Spelman College. And in 2003, she was a recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Awards from the Chicago Music Awards. The Reverend Dr. Lena McGlynn died on October 3rd, 2023 and recently became an ancestor at the age of 95. But we are grateful that because music was her ministry, she not only blessed us with music, but she blessed others and encouraged them to cultivate their ministry in music as well so that we can also be blessed. She is truly a Chicago. If you enjoyed this podcast, I ask for two things and I will love you forever. Number one, please engage with us on social media. So like, share, subscribe, and comment on whatever platform you're listening to it on. And number two, please make sure you pass it on to a friend who will enjoy it as well.